Hi, I'm Michael, and welcome back to another episode of Wicked Out. So today I thought I would show you guys this beautiful eye wig. I purchased this wig from Pretty Wigs to You. Um, I worked with Heather to create this custom color thing. About this, this is is that we were trying to come up with a name for it, and uh, I just looked at I just looked at the wig and I was like, Brondy, because she is brown and blonde and depending on the lighting depending on the situation this is one of the most dynamic color jobs I have ever seen done on a wig you know kudos to kudos to the to the lady that Heather works with to get these colored she's got some some real talent um, you know she's got real real talent with this color it is absolutely just super super just dimensional as you can see and she varied I liked how she varied the rooting on this style of, of color that it's not all evenly rooted so you get this you know everybody calls it I, I like to call it the money shot when you have a good hair color and that is if you look at the back of the hair it's all about angles and if you notice look how the rooting is done on this wig it makes the back appear absolutely just gorgeous now this style can be worn up in a ponytail I have not done that yet but it is very realistic as you can see from the back I might use a little bit of tape on that but as you can see that's pretty you know, I need to put a little tape on this only because I would want that to stay down. As I can see that, that's popping up there, but that's with the silicone all around the edge of this cap, and I'll show you guys that in a minute, is about. Just want to give you guys a look at these beautiful waves that I put in. Her, so I got her when she was straight. And I, I gave her this nice beachy tousled look. This eye wig, she this eye wig started out as a number twenty two blonde. And as you can see, it's got the rooting that we all know that I love. It has the wonderful silk top. So you guys can see there, it looks like it's literally growing out of my head and the lace front on this you know it actually the, the interesting thing about this is that the lace on this wig goes from here all the way around but it actually it, uh, you'll, I will show you when I take this off in just a second but this is a um, this is a 16 inch eye wig and these can be colored in custom colored um, in any shade that you would like. The hair is Mongolian and European Remy. Remy meaning that the cuticle all goes the same way. Um, so when they cut it, they, they, they keep it like this. So they know that, you know, it's all running down. That's, that's what Remy means. Um, this hair is extremely, extremely soft, guys. It feels like silk. Absolutely feels like just the most beautiful, just, I, I'm at a loss for what to say because honestly, this is the nicest wig that I think I possibly, possibly own. Um, the hair quality is absolutely amazing. And this, I've ever, I mean, yes, I'm going to reveal to you guys that for purposes of making, you know, checking out all the features of this wig, I actually just went ahead and shaved my head. Plus, it makes it easier for summer because I kind of thought maybe if I shaved my head, it would make this a little bit more comfortable to wear. And actually, this is this wig's not hot at all. Um, as you can see, she's quite long. I did put some beachy, nice beachy waves in her. She has a nice dark root. As you can see, there's some dark running through, some through the through the wig. And the inside of the cap. Now this is 
This is the coolest cap construction that I think I've ever seen. But as you can see, it is a hand tie cap. There are wefts here in the back. Now, the reason why they do this is um, to, to keep this section of hair from tangling. Um, using wefts is actually better for this area of a wig. And this wig is really great. When I say it doesn't tangle, like, as you can see, I've been wearing this all day long today. I've been up for about five, six hours now, since about 5 a.m., and this has been on my head. No tangling. And I haven't used any weird, strange products that are unknown. Other than a little bit of argan oil. Here are the ear tabs that I was mentioning. And as you can see, let me get a real good close-up. The lace runs all the way, guys. And then they spliced in some hair here. So as you see when I put it on in just a second, I will show you. It will cover everything. These great ear tabs. And they're, they're, they're coated with silicon. Same here. Right, right behind the lace front, you have the wonderful silk top. Now, this has been custom colored, so there's some staining. That's completely normal. Um, and here is the nape, which is also silicone with the adjusters. Um, and these are my favorite kind of, the bra strap. I wouldn't call them bra strap. The hook adjusters, that's right, hook. Why am I calling these bra strap? Oh Lord, where's my brain today? So here is, I, I mean, this is the most beautiful color blonde. Um, it also, it kind of reminds me of a Venice blonde in the John Renault collection. And it does come off a little bit, maybe slightly golden on camera, but I'm going to say that in person it is not a very, it's not golden. It's a very neutral color blonde. I would even say, you know, edging on ashy slightly. It's not greenish, but you can, you know, definitely see that it's a cooler color blonde. So this is how easy it is to put this wig on for me. And it's got really, just to mention before I throw this on, it's got really great, really, really sturdy stays there. So, you know, the great thing about the silicone it, here around the edges that they've done in the nape and in the, in, in the ear tabs is that you can use little wig tape or got to be glued or, you know, whatever it is you want to use and get a little extra security out of this wig. Um, I kind of plan to have these around for days I want to wear my my hair up in a ponytail. I don't have issues in the front. Uh, you know, I always want to make sure my nape stays down. That's the only thing. And this thing looks really great, like, in so many different styles. And so I usually just grab it like this and just plop it on my head. There you guys go. Oh, gorgeous. Just lift that up. And I'm just gonna do something to prove a point to you guys. This wig with the silicone on it. Now, mind you, you guys just saw me put this on. No wig grip, no wig cap, no glue, no tape. I just wanna prove a point. You can literally, this wig is so secure on my head from the silicone grips on this and the stays that I can literally do this. And this wig does not move, nor does the lace pull up in the front. And as you can see, it does not tangle at all. So I wanna give you guys, just straighten my hair out for you guys so it doesn't look like a nappy mess. And there we go. So I'm gonna give you a side profile. So this is the side. So she comes about chest length on me. There is the back of this wig with the beautiful waves that I put in. Now, you can style this any way you like. It can be parted. And here is my right side. And here we are back to the front. And the great thing about this wig is it can be parted in any direction. So if you're a right, right part person, if you're a left part person, 
or if you are a person who likes to wear it down the middle. You could change this wig daily. I actually was going to show a little trick. I'm looking down here at my basket to see if I can spot it. But if you take a uh, a regular curling rod when you uh, when you first put your wigs on and say you want to smooth down the top, you can actually take that and just use it like this, just very lightly. Or if you're changing the part, sometimes you have a hard time with, you'll change it and then there'll be a bump. You can also use that same iron to do the same exact thing again, um, although I will recommend using just a little bit of heat spray before you do that. I only use, um, the only products I use on this are John Renault, and I'm going to make a video coming up about all the different uh, products, all the different things that I have collected and tried and tested to see what works and what doesn't. Um, I thought I would do a little episode about that, about like all the little different, like kind of like a update to what my wig essentials video was a couple months back, but maybe just a little bit more in detail. So I just want to say I'm sorry that I've been gone forever. It's like, you know, life as it is. Sometimes you just go with the flow. Um, I want to say thank you to all my subscribers. I want to thank you, say, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment. I really just love interacting with everyone. And I want to say welcome to all the new subscribers. Um, you know, I'm getting really excited because I have a few things coming up soon. Um, and there'll be quite a few more videos this week. So I hope you guys don't get annoyed. All right, so until next time, this has been a review of the iWig, 16-inch iWig from Pretty Wigs, custom colored. All right, guys. Bye.